what up champions I decided not to film in the car anymore but uh, I'm on the highway so I I'm, I'm, don't have to do much uh, for the next 10 minutes except drive straight so uh, possibly the last vlog in the car so just a quick update I had a nice uh, MMA session in Martin Kupan as you can see I even got a little bit of a uh, slight shiner going uh, we're doing some drills and I turned around and I ran into a uh, uh, my friend's knee, uh, but luckily nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. So we did a couple of. Uh, it was a great session actually. I was expecting to go a little bit lighter, and it was lighter intensity. But I've learned a lot. Like uh, uh, really, really, uh, Nate uh, has uh, amazing knowledge. Uh, obviously, being a uh, black belt in, in, in judo and in BJJ, uh, uh, you don't get that by. Uh, by not being good so uh, yeah deeply enjoyed the session great session uh, so uh, yeah that's the last session before the fight on Saturday I'm feeling good I've learned a lot of very key things today that are gonna help me uh, in the fight as well so uh, yeah amazing day uh, right now going home chill eat something I'm on weight weight is good so I was 85 kgs flat today so the weigh-in is the day after tomorrow where I have to be 84 or 83.9 but there's a 0.4 kgs uh, tolerance of, uh, how to say that? Tolerance. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's shit. Did I want to say anything more? Uh, I think last time I spoke a little bit about uh, uh, training being one third of the job. Uh, sleep, second third, eating, third third. So uh, guys, if you're looking to optimize your training and you don't know shit about optimizing your sleep, like you're doing half of the work and the other half is, is fucking random. So uh, learn how to sleep better. And uh, this is, like you can do everything right regarding training. You can uh, uh, do all the right number of sets and everything. And if you sleep five hours a night, or if you sleep completely randomly, like one day you go to bed at 4 a.m., the next day it's at midnight, then you stay up late, then you get four hours of sleep, six hours of sleep. Like you just like shit on your own training, like quite literally. And then you think, oh, the training is not working. I gotta change something, switch up something. No, you're sleeping like a fucking bum. And that's why the training and the progress is uh, similar uh, or there's a lack of it so uh, if I can tell you just a very simple um, advice something that helped me a lot on getting my sleep on point is just try to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time if you can do that if you're getting consistently good sleep uh, you can even sleep less and still get the same amount of recovery so that's the first thing that you can do to have better sleep, therefore better performance, therefore better training, therefore quicker progress. Even if your training is a little bit shittier, but if you sleep on point every single night, uh, you eat on point, you're not getting fat, you're not drastically losing uh, weight, so you're kind of staying where you want to be, or maybe you want to gain muscle mass and you're eating appropriately and you're doing so, uh, freaking phenomenal, you know? But without sleep, everything goes to shit. And, uh, Maybe some of you are like, Dom, are you sure? Give it a go. Have uh, have the most amazing training program. Get on Sky University and do the whole thing and sleep nine hours a night and see how that feels for a month or two. And then try sleeping four hours a night for a, a period of uh, two, three weeks and see where that takes you. You know, For somebody who wants to gain muscle mass right away, if sleep is not on point, they're not gonna gain muscle mass. And they think, oh, training is wrong or I gotta get more creatine or protein. No, you gotta sleep more, motherfucker. You're sleeping six hours a night. Like, it's not enough. You wanna be a professional athlete or you wanna be, have the highest of results and you're sleeping like a bum, like, like then you're not gonna, training is not gonna go very well. So, uh, if I can give you a simple advice, try to go at the bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. If you can get nine hours of sleep, phenomenal. You can't get nine, you have work, job, kids, get eight can get eight get seven but if you're getting seven at least try to get them at the same time if that's a possibility and again all of it uh, guys I'm, I'm telling this for people who have the option of 
doing so. I know like people who live different lives and somebody's working 12 hours a night, maybe working night shifts and everything. Uh, but just try to do the best with what you have available. So I'm not saying everybody should do this, but if training, if you're training six times a week and you're wondering, man, I'm just not progressing in something, look at your sleep and look at your food. Um, and regarding diet, I can make a separate video. I'm no expert on diet. I haven't been like sitting and reading about diet eight hours a day for the past uh, like 10 years. Uh, my main thing was always training and optimizing training, but I realized like it's hard to optimize training when you're eating uh, shit all the time, you know? But uh, really, the diet here, very important, but comes third. First, training, second, sleep, like this. If you do those two things right, you can have a fairly shitty programming and still get a better uh, if you're sleeping nine hours a night you have a shitty programming for strength you're gonna have better results than a person who's sleeping six hours a night fucking randomly uh, as well and has the best training uh, the best trainer and the best the best training schedule you know so uh, that's how important sleep is and um, again if you don't trust me try having three nights in a row of shitty sleep. Like literally try sleeping three hours a night and then try to perform at the highest level when it comes to uh, strength training. Oh, the performance goes down. Like one night of shitty sleep, you can get away with. Two nights, okay, you can still do a decent session. It's not gonna be optimal, it's not gonna be at your best, but it's a decent. Three nights of shitty sleep, shit training. Like shit training, there's no other way, uh, yeah. And I know a lot of people want a magic pill and something. This is the magic pill. This is the magic pill. Sleep, sleep more. I know it takes more of your time. That means in the evening you have to get off Netflix a little bit earlier and not jerk around on Instagram and shit. But uh, sleep really is that fucking valuable. Like it truly is. So, uh, so yeah. And that's the thing I would say that I've been doing consistently for the past years, uh, ten years. I haven't always eaten on point. Uh, at a certain point, I was doing too much drinking, you know, uh, smoked too much weed, but uh, shit, I always slept maybe even 10 hours a night. And the first thing that I um, kind of bought for myself when I made money was uh, time so I can sleep more. That's the most important thing to me because I know if sleep is shit, training is shit. And uh, I have uh, have had in the past great I still sometimes can't fall asleep very quickly so I just I need extra room for sleep just in case I can't fall asleep if I know the next day I gotta wake up at 7 a.m. man it just fucking sucks like, to, be, to be honest and I know that's a uh, necessity that's how most people live their lives but uh, uh, man like if training is the most important valuable exciting thing in your life then sleep also has to be the most important valuable thing in your life because one without the other it just doesn't go very well and yeah you can then have shorter sleep and then you have to do your foam rolling and the ice baths and and massages and fucking physiotherapy i do physiotherapy like once every three months maybe if something is if i feel something is uh, slightly injured but i don't get massages on a fucking daily basis or some shit you know and and the hot baths and ice baths like not that there's anything wrong with it but sleep first all of that stuff comes later on uh at least that's my opinion if you want my opinion um so yeah that's it oh a little bit longer video than expected but yeah i felt like sharing something on the importance of sleep because I, I know there were some comments in the previous video um so yeah good sleep good training good life <laughs> that's all there is to it um, um yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, what, fucking three days left to my first MMA fight. I'm very excited. Uh, I feel fucking ready. My body is feeling good. Hip flexors are feeling good. Knees are feeling good. Uh, that core, uh, my core was actually still slightly sore yesterday, but I did some hanging leg lifts and everything. Core feels good. Quads feel good. Even the slight tightness behind the knees that was there uh, yesterday, still a little bit, is actually... Uh, went away so I did the perfect amount of training yesterday because I'm feeling freaking phenomenal today sleep could have been better but in all honesty I'm just uh, 
excited about the fight and then it just uh, seems like I'm, I'm in bed fucking 10 hours but it seems like maybe I got seven hours of sleep from that uh, but I think that's the, a normal thing considering there's something very exciting coming in uh, on Saturday um, but yeah yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, I'll see you tomorrow I have a press conference tomorrow who will think there's a press conference uh so yeah maybe i'll post something from that and then um, friday is the weigh-in and then saturday is the fight uh, stay tuned guys it's gonna be fucking amazing uh, i'll see you in the next video and always remember your champion wow. last vlog from the car i hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video peace